Okay, thank you for joining me on this uh, video. I'm going to show you how to use the Torque, um, and you can use that on your Android uh, head unit, or you can use it on a standalone laptop, etc. You can see it's Torque, and that's uh, the manufactured app. Uh, it does need connection to an OBD, OBD uh, port ca uh, card reader, uh, which you can get on eBay. Uh, I've been told that some of these card readers can damage your ECU, etc. So when you do this video, you're doing it at your own risk. I've also been told that this. Uh, doesn't work with uh, all alphads. So the one I'm using at the 2003 is three liter MZ. Seemed to work beautifully with that. Um, you know, you might, uh, you know, as I said, people said it doesn't work with other ones, but um, I'm, you know, as I said, I've only got the one card to test it out on. It seems to work perfectly with mine. So let's see the settings for it. So I've set up a profile alpha to MZ. If you look over here, you've got these four symbols, which are all nicely lit. So and then the profile alpha the MZ, click onto that. Okay, click on to edit. And over here, it's very sensitive. So alpha MZ, MZ 3 liter engine, 2.1, I've guessed, LPG fuel capacity. I'm gonna scrub it up. Uh, these I've just kept as standard. Again, we're going up. Up, oops. Okay, here um, it's asking for nothing important so we're just going to go through now here this is where the magic is use alternative obd connector header okay so you click that box go down here now this will be blank there will be no texture whatsoever and you've got to put your finger on that because there's no text box there's no indication that you can type anything into that section uh but one what you want you to do is type that string just as you see it now you have to as I said you're going to read below very very advanced the LM327, that's adapter, custom code, and below that you will see nothing. Put your finger below there, okay, and click that, and then the text box will appear, ATIB, type it all in, and then save it on the left hand side. Okay, that should allow you to connect to your, uh, to your computer, okay, or to your OBD reader. Go on to real time, and you can see you can pick out a whole different things you can add in by holding this down like that uh, and you could add a display i like these uh digital ones so we go there and everything in green is what is available to be added on okay so it's all these and we've got ambient air temperature now i've seen that working before so i know that does work um and i'm quite sure i can make another video on that because I definitely have seen ambient temperature work okay distance to empty and you got engine coolant temperature engine kilowatts engine load engine rpm fuel cost and you'll have fuel trims fuel trims short bank long bank etc these also uh, work I'm going to add one in short term fuel trim I'm just going to stick it on there so we know that one works, okay, sometimes it's a little bit temperamental. Okay, and you have to switch off the engine. If you made any adjustments, which I have done, uh, you just prior to this, you switch off the engine, restart it again. It goes through a series of uh, bits and pieces, so it will take a little bit of time, but we'll get there. If you do any adjustments like I did earlier on, uh, you need to restart it. So I've just restarted it, paused it, and restarted it. And as you can see now, the short term fuel trims, etc., are back on. So we're just going to click on that again. I'm going to delete this display. Okay, I'm going to click on it again and put a new one. Uh, I'm going to put an add display. Again, okay, back onto digital, picking the ones that. I'm going to even click that ambient air temperature. I know we haven't got it. Um, as yet, but I'm going to stick it on there uh, because I am sure I've seen that before. So I'm going to go back now onto the settings. Okay, onto the alpha settings, edit it. And I'm just going to go, whoops, again. You've got to be quite careful with the LPG, and you've got to go down here. And that's a real pain. You can see you've really got to be quite sensitive to where you place. So use separate dashboard layout. 
Okay, it doesn't matter that one's there. And here I've just told it to go through the, the entire list of protocols automatic. Um, I believe you can actually go to one of these ones over here and I cannot remember which one it is. Um, but I think it's that one, but you know, I'm going to go this, uh, fast one, try that. I'm going to see if that's, remember that's the one we've changed just over there. Okay. I'm just going to see if that makes any difference whatsoever. And you can see now it stopped working. Okay. So you really need to, oh, you know what? Again, remember what I said to you about when you change anything, stop and restart. Okay, so that's it restarted again. You can see all the the, the stuff's back up again from that little change that it did. Uh, Real-time information's still there. The air temperature's still off for some reason. Uh, but I'm going to work on that, and I'll, if I find a reason, I will let you know. I hope that's useful. Again, as mentioned, um, if you're going to try this, try this one in peril, etc. Um, personally, you know, I just go and do these things, and a... It seems to somehow work out fine. Take care, bye.